Hi, I'm Pete Burkheimer with American Engineering. We serve as the town engineer for Kill Devil Hills, and I'm here to give you sort of a closeout on our long-running project to install a new 400,000-gallon water storage tank at the old town hall site, which many of you now know as the fire station site, which is one of Kill Devil Hills' two places where we buy water from Dare County, store it, and pump it out to serve the citizens of Kill Devil Hills. This project began actually 10 years ago with the last water system master plan that the town had done. And we realized that the old water tank, which is now gone, was coming up on its 50th birthday. And by the time we've replaced it now, it served up until about its 57th birthday. And that's about the uh, lifespan that you can expect out of a water tank, especially in a highly corrosive environment like our island here. The Kill Devil Hills Public Services Department includes, on the public works side, solid waste and streets and stormwater. And then it also has the water side, which includes water administration that does the meter reading and the billing. We also have a system group that does your meter installs, flushes the lines, repairs any breaks, valve maintenance. And then we've got a group that's the water plant. We are here seven days a week, 365 days a year from seven till midnight, operating the two pump stations. We are purchase water supply. We buy our water from Dare County. They produce it both at the Skyco site and the North RO. That water comes to both these pumping stations through a wholesale transmission main. We store it in the ground tanks, rechlorinate, and then pump it into the elevated tanks where then it goes to the distribution system. We could almost do without a water tank if it was only domestic flows, the flows you use for flushing the toilet and taking a shower, washing clothes and cooking, etc. cetera. Uh, what really drives the process is fire flow. When there's a big fire burning somewhere, which we hope never happens, but we know it sometimes does, then we need to bring a lot of water to bear on a fire for a long time, especially on a windy day like today. And our calculations showed that we needed to increase from a 200,000 gallon water tank to a 400,000 tank, which is what we have behind us now, in order to be able to put 5,000 gallons per minute on a fire and sustain that big flow for four hours. The town of Kill Devil Hills is a safer place today with this boy behind us completed because we can move a lot of water to any place in town. And uh, actually, it should be helping insurance rates for, for a lot of people in town, but more importantly, it'll help us protect property and, and even more importantly, lives in that we can fight a fire more effectively. Being in Dare County for 30 years now, watching the town and the county develop uh, has been amazing to watch the fire load of the number of houses built in a town uh, and the size of the structures is, is escalating dramatically over the past 20 years in particular. So, you know, we went from these little beach boxes of 1,000 square foot, 960, there's a lot of those running around, to the 1500s, 1700s. Now we're at the average of probably 25 to 3,000 square foot with our 8 to 12,000 on the beach road, which is a big house, which requires, if when they burn, it requires a lot of fire flow. So this helps us in providing the needed fire flow for these big structures, as well as these new commercial buildings with Lowe's and, and, and Target coming, um, and these other buildings are, are just as big, if not bigger, than, than they were before. Sure, they're sprinklered, but you still have a large volume of material to put out. We actually began construction of the tank on paper in January of 2019. We put it out to bids in the uh, late fall of 18. We invited four to bid because it's a very specialized business. There's only about four companies in the whole country that do it. Two of them declined to bid. The two that did bid were Caldwell and Landmark. And Landmark got it. Their bid was about $2.85 million. Caldwell was about $800,000 higher. So we saved $800,000 by taking the low bid. And I'm gonna pause a second to give a shout out to the Board of Commissioners that was seated at that time. Their wisdom in, in allowing the budget to sustain a project of this magnitude is, uh, is, is to be commended. 
We all want to save money. Everybody wants their taxes and fees and water rates kept as low as they can, but it's a false economy if you don't keep your infrastructure maintained and repaired and when it's time, replaced. So they had the wisdom to, to give us the funding to get this done and now we've got a, a brand new uh, water tank to uh, show for it and uh, it'll be somebody many, many years down the road when it's replaced, probably 50 or 60 years uh, into the future. We first installed a special pile foundation system which looks like an 18-legged coffee table. After a little while, the steel erectors came and began erecting the tank, and we all remember last fall when the, the bowl of the tank, which was erected down closer to the ground, was raised up like the ball drop at New York Times in reverse. That was exciting. We had two rounds of painting, one while things were close to the ground, and then another which only finished up earlier this year when the final painting got done. And we had some weather delays with that. Um, you've got to have nearly perfect conditions to get a successful paint job. It can even be too humid to paint. Uh, it doesn't have to be raining to spoil a painting day. Finally, that was accomplished and we began the process of uh, installing large pipes in the yard around the tank to tie it into the, the system. Water system had to be served by the old 200,000 gallon tank right up until the moment of cutover. On June 25th of this year, 2020, uh, we successfully finished the installation of the pipe and had the cutover, and from that day forward, the old tank never participated as part of the system. With your water system, you like redundancy. You don't have one pump, you have two or three pumps. And, and that's why we have the two stations and the two elevated tanks. You don't want to get in a situation where you've got to work on one tank and then you've lost your capability. The next exciting event was the demolition of the old tank, which was really an amazing process. There's a specialty company, Eisler Demolition, out of Michigan. Uh, that, that really uh, dominates the market in this uh, nationwide. And um, they came in exactly when they said they would. I believe it was October 1st. By sunset that evening, the entire tank was on the ground. And they hung around for about a half a day thereafter to load, finish loading it into scrap trucks and hauling away. And, and they cleaned up so nicely, you'd never known they were here, except the tank was gone. A lot of people have commented on the looks of this tower. I guess as an engineer, I tend to be more focused on the functionality of it. But you got to admit, this is a good looking water tower. First of all, it's a pedosphere, P-E-D-E-S-P-H-E-R-E. -E -E. It's a much cleaner, simpler looking tank. The, the old one had the sphere, but it also had not just a center column, three feet in diameter, but it had four or five legs, five legs. This one had four supporting it. The one at 8th Street has five. And those tanks are very functional, but they look like something your kid put together with an erector set. They've got cross braces, they've got turnbuckles, they've got all these pieces of metal that are more places for rust to begin forming, more things to have to paint. So it's more expensive to paint one of these size for size than it is to paint uh, a pedosphere. I really have to commend the painting company, Scott Eisenhower Enterprises uh, out of Kentucky. Angel Diaz, the painter on that, just was extremely meticulous doing this, this logo, and his quality of work really shines in this, and we're, we're very, very satisfied with that. The single pedosphere and, and no rods, no sway rods, all those turnbuckles and, and all those little clevises were just difficult to paint and keep the corrosion off. Here you've got a welded steel smooth tank, takes the paint very well, it's easier to clean and maintain, and you could easily spend in the $400,000 range on a repaint that might be required every six, seven, eight years on the old legged tank. And we're hoping to get 10 years on the coating system on this tank, and the actual repaint will be much less expensive. That cellular tower is, is wonderful, and it's gonna help keep this water tank looking good. It seems like the technology for the cellular equipment is changing every three to six months. There's an upgrade of an antenna or an amplifier or, or some piece of hardware that needs to get changed out. And so there is constantly technicians climbing and rebolting. So having their own monopole where they can come and go and do those upgrades and not be hurting the coatings of this steel tank 
is going to be a wonderful benefit to the longevity and, and save on the cost. On the monopole, they can add additional carriers, and as technology changes and more antennas are needed, there's room to do that. It's now been 10 years since that Board of Commissioners authorized the Water System Master Plan of 2010. The current Board of Commissioners has approved and we actually have begun the 2020-21 Water System Master Plan update. I know that as we develop a water capital improvements program that'll uh, be executed over the next 10 or 12 years, one of the focuses of that is going to be replacing old asbestos water pipes, improving our valves. We don't have as many valves in the system as we'd like, so if there's a water main break, we have to shut off more houses than we'd have to if, if valves were closer together. So that's not as exciting as building a water tank. There probably won't be another one of those until the end of that 10 year period or maybe later. But sometimes we have to do the mundane things to keep the system running in, in peak condition, as well as the exciting things like this water tank behind us.